We're in Bojangles uh, pub in, uh, in Alice Springs and uh, I'm fortunate enough to be with uh, Chris Vaughan who is the, uh, the, the owner, the licensee, the brains behind this uh, incredible pub and it is an incredible pub, one of the best pubs I've, uh, I've ever seen. Uh, Chris, uh, tell us a, a little of the story of uh, Bojangles. Uh, I got called Bose in 1978, so we're the uh, ooh, third group of owners that have had it in the last sort of 30, 35 years. We've had it uh, since 1998, and the name Bojangles comes from uh, Jerry Jeff Walker's song, Mr Bojangles. Mr Bojangles, so, and uh, Bose, it's referred Bo to as Bose. That's our nickname, yeah, and, uh, Are you doing incredible things here? I can't believe the, uh, uh, the technology, the internet stuff particularly. Tell yeah. us a little about that. That's good fun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, every night of the week, so every night, Saturday night in Alice Springs, doesn't matter whether it's Sunday or Monday, uh, we have a live radio show which is interactive so the local radio station, FM radio station comes in at 8.30 every night and they log on and start broadcasting live on all the W's and Optus C1 satellite and FM throughout the top end of the country throughout Central Australia. And that's an interactive show where you can send a music request, we call that a, a shout out, or you can buy a round of drinks for somebody that's here or a meal from anywhere in the world and have your music request played and your dedication and then wave at the cameras and the person at the other end of the internet, wherever they might be, can see their loved ones or their mates or girlfriends or what have you. So I could buy anyone in the bar a drink? In Every, any, you can buy everybody in the bar a drink. drink yeah. You'd be happy with that. Happy with that. <laughs> uh, it's good for business. Now you get um, a, an incredible number of hits. Yeah, uh, lots tell of traffic. Me about that. Uh, I think we peaked at 5.2 million hits a month. And there wasn't one country that we don't know that we haven't got to so it, our reach is so broad as it is with the internet so you don't know where the inquiry is going to come from but when you actually analyze the traffic it's huge yeah uh, we used to think of uh, our radius or you're pitching to a business within a five mile radius yep. Yep. you've just uh, 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 shattered that. you and the internet have yep. changed the, uh, the entire internet world. shatters yeah. that what so we've done is package all the mediums that there's nothing new in what we're doing but we've merged them all, so it's our live entertainment, it's marketing, it's a, a music request, it's a DJ, it's a jukebox, but it's also two-way traffic, and that's the special thing about it. Um, I'll, a quick example, Max. We got a, uh, a lady from America, had her son and daughter, and they'd been travelling for six or seven months. Hadn't seen them, only had phone calls from them. They arrived here at Bose, they got online, they got mum to log on, she emailed a song through, the DJ got them out of the table, put them on stage so that mum could clearly see them on the camera. Then she, and they had a great night, she sent them through a $50 voucher, they had drinks. Then she emailed the online manager and asked directly and said, look, um, I was here last night, saw my kids, been seven months, hadn't seen them. And she only had one complaint. She couldn't make out their image as well enough because she was crying. <laughs> that was her complaint. <laughs> So it works, it's beautiful. And she oh, hadn't seen her kids for seven months and she got a, got a chance to see them. <clears throat> what a good story. Yeah. Nice. Now, the place is absolutely full of, uh, of uh, all, so <laughs> all sorts of stuff. I can, uh, I can see guns and hats yeah. and tell me about uh, okay. maybe the most unusual things you've collected uh, and Jeez. how do you collect it? Uh, I'll tell you a funny story. Okay, everything here needs a permit. So talking about the guns, there's over about 50, 60 odd firearms in here, pistols and long arms. Most of them uh, period, Australian and vintage. So the business has its own collector's licence. We've got two snakes and they need permits. We've got crocodile skins, they need permits. We can have a human skull without a permit. Quite funny. Uh -huh. That's real. <laughs> Is that right? We don't have a permit for the human skull, but everything else needs a permit. <laughs> everything else needs a permit. Obviously we're not in danger. <laughs> so, um, so how do you collect it? Uh, buy, sell, swap, trade, beg, borrow, acquire. And there's no way we don't get stuff. Any and every way. Any, any which way we can. Tell me your key rings. Oh, the key rings. Uh, gold medallions. Gold medallions, yeah. That's what they look like. So a bit of a loyalty program, so it controls the traffic at the door. If you've got a key ring, you can come in before the queue, so they feel special. If you've got a key ring, uh, it's a marketing tool, gets thrown on the, on the table. It's got our phone number, web address, so you can communicate with, live with the host. But when you go to the bar and show them the key ring, you get a dollar off your drinks. And you're probably wondering why we're giving a buck off our drinks. To get a key ring, you can't buy one. You've got to bring something in that's old and Aussie, and not your parents, that belongs in here on display which adds to our constant growing mm. display. So it's a trade. 
Yeah, I like it. I like it. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> I just heard you do a trade with the uh, with the, oh, uh, the electrician. You shouldn't have heard that. You <laughs> can't mention the company. Because no, no, but no, that's no, how but it works. It's, um, just that he was so thrilled about he got his wanting to uh, to yep. do the trade. Yep. So he wants it, to get him in, in front of the queue. It just he made wants it to so be marketable. part of the book with yeah, the boys. Yeah. Can um, I get a keyring? Yeah. I, I asked. I said, "What's the keyring? What's the big deal about the keyring?" It's a trade. So beautifully in Central Australia, we. We're lucky. Uh, barter is still alive and well, although the ATO wouldn't probably like to hear that. But barter is alive and well because it's a small village. Yeah, you know, there's yeah, 24,000 yeah. people, and we know a lot of people. And a lot of people know us, so it's like, oh, can I can I uh, have a forklift on Friday night? Nah, all the boys are busy. Uh, I'll give you 100 bucks. Nah, no, no, no. Can't Nicole Crownies. We'll be there in five minutes. <laughs> Too good to miss. Where did you come from, and why are you here? Uh, we, we've come from Adelaide today on business. Uh, yes. Um, so we're only staying here overnight. Um, so unfortunately we have to leave tomorrow, but we'll be up again soon. And why did you choose the pub? Um, Darren actually knows somebody that knows the owner, so we thought we did say good day. Oh, but isn't it a great pub? It is. Oh my goodness. This is unbelievable. I'm just loving it. Anyway, you can recommend the food. Oh, definitely. <laughs> Well, that's a Caesar salad, is it? Yeah. yeah. Oh, and uh, you both had... Uh... I, I had the open steak burger. Yeah? yeah. And good. Yeah, very good. <laughs> okay. What, sorry, your, your first name is? My first name's Darren. Darren and? Linda. And Linda. I'm Max. Nice to meet you, Max. Chris, there are people all around the, the country going to be uh, looking at this via thebestpub.com.au yep. and we're delighted to uh, have you on board with us. The, uh, uh, a message for them, can they uh, come and say good day to you? Uh, how do they uh, find you? Um, uh, some thing some is, parting um, message. Log on, www.boeslifesaloon.com.au and um, have a look for yourself for where you are. If you like it, come and drink with us. Fantastic. Chris Vaughan, thank you and welcome. My pleasure.